Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe from Ditech8, and today I'm going to do just a quick review, and this is also for me to get used to ScreenFlow, um, so I kind of need an excuse. And I've been using this for a couple days now. It's, um, it's something Apple has built in to their speech and preferences, and it's called speech recognition, and it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how many people know about this. I mean, I just found out about it a couple of days ago because I was messing around in here. But um, I'm just going to do just a quick review on it. So in settings under speech, um, there's text-to-speech and speech recognition. If you turn on speakable items uh, off, then turn it on, this little, what are you, little app widget thing comes up. And it's on your desktop. You can move it around anywhere. Um, and you basically, this says escape, and you can change the key to whatever you key you want. I just use escape because uh, it's, I don't use it that often. Um, but you hold down it, and then you say a, a command, and it'll do that command. Uh, so if you open up these uh, open speech command window, you get a list of all these commands that you can just say uh, when you're holding down my app would be escape. Um, I mean, there's quite a few here, and then it you get more for each window. So if I like, let's close all these. And let's do open my browser. And Safari will open up. Now, this is an also cool feature. Um, if you go to a website like, I already did this, but YouTube, and it'll go to YouTube, but if you want like a site to be said, um, you would click on the site and you would hold it down and say, make this page speakable. Make this page speakable. Okay. Um, when I say send sports, it'll open up this site. Um, I mean, that's like Facebook. I mean, it, it's on and off. It works more times than it doesn't. I'd say about 90% of the time when I say a command, it'll work. Um, and it, it's just, it's great. Um, like if I do open iTunes, you can open applications. You can, um, you can play a song, play. Pause. I mean, it works, but during a song, it doesn't work as well because it gets all mixed up. Um, it's, I like it. I mean, I don't use it all that often, but if you just keep it down here and every once in a while, I mean, you could say, get my mail. If you don't want to know where your mail, if you don't know where your mail is or get my mail. Yeah. Then it'll open up mail and get all your mail. I just did this, so I don't have anything, but, um, it's it's cool, and especially since you know Apple did this, they put it straight in. Um, it's not as great as the uh, voicing for uh, the iPhone, the, the OS. Um, like you can't do play artist Angel in Airways. I mean, it doesn't do stuff like that. But um, the address book, and the, now this is really cool. You can uh, name all these commands. I don't have anything in my address book, but. Um, you would name like chat with and then you say someone's name and then it'll open up address book and chat with that person um and that i mean it works in everything like if you open new finder window or open finder window what is that called it it does take a while to get used to all the commands i still don't even know I and mean, i've been using it for two or three days now um I don't know what it is, but um, if you open it up and then uh, make new folder, and then I'll make a new folder. Um, that's kind of handy. I mean, obviously, I just have to right click and do that. But for people with a MacBook, um, you know, hold it down, then Control click or whatever, uh, that can be handy. Um, if you're also on a web browser, and let's go to Engadget, one of my favorite gadget sites. Page down. 
move page down. Move page down. I mean, I'm not touching the mouse. I mean, I'm not scrolling with it. Um, you can also be like, tell me a joke. See, uh, that's, uh, it doesn't work sometimes. Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Not working. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Oh, there it goes. Who's there? Thaddeus. Thaddeus who? To be or not to be, Thaddeus the question. <laughs> okay, they're pretty corny jokes, but no, it's still kind of cool. Um, you can also uh, ask what time it is and ask for the date. Like, What's today's date? It's Wednesday, July 1st. What time is it? It's 12.47. I, that, that's just... That's just pretty cool. Um, so once again, if you guys don't know where it is, you just open up settings and go to speech. And you can also do different voices. I have Alex because it's the one that makes the most sense. Um, you can also have like the older voices. Um, if you go to show more, show more voices and do like Ralph. And then do, what time is it? It's 12.47. Yeah, the old school, old school voice. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is cool. I think everyone should be able to do that. Like, everybody should try this out at least um, for a couple days, see what it's like. Um, one of the main thing is, though, you need to collaborate it. Like, if you're talking, like, really loud, it gets to the red. Um, but, like, if you have it higher up and then you just talk normally, you want it to be in the green. So you will have to collaborate it just a little bit. I mean, I have it kind of low, but, yeah. Okay, um, like I said, this is just going to be for me to use to screen flow. Um, Bull had a couple of videos up, and I'm going to test some of those videos. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, remember to subscribe, subscribe to the video, uh, big yellow button to... Well, if it's on the homepage to the left, and if that's on, just regular video to the right. Um, thanks for watching, and peace.